Hi, this is a patient of ours, an elderly gentleman on whom we've done a major cancer resection and reconstruction. So what he had was a large tumor that was sitting inside his mouth, white on it. So we had to resect his entire jaw on the left side and we have used a flap from the chest. Okay, and we can see the scar there, that's the entry and the scar also on the chest. So a pectoralis major myocutaneous flap was harvested from this area. It was tunneled and taken over the clavicle. And you can see the clavicle on the left side is therefore a little bit more bulkier. And the muscle was taken down all the way in and was turned around and was used to reconstruct the mandible and the buccal mucosa along with the mucosa part of the lingual aspect that was resected because of the cancer. This is now fifth week, four weeks done after surgery. The bottom part of it, yeah. Yeah, and he's able to eat well. Okay, and uh, he's in a contributor. Yeah, so he has a little bit issue with the facial nerve because we have to resect the entire uh, mandible and also part of the skin a little bit on the outside was a T4 lesion. He's doing very well. He's about 74 now. He's been able to. Ahara le na chaapringi poni ge. So he's having uh, soft, solid food. Still not gone to eating uh, hard food. That's because he doesn't have much teeth as well. We're going to do that aspect of reconstruction after four more weeks. I'm going to show you inside the mouth. You see that? You can see the hair. So the hair bearing part is the part of the flap that was raised from the chest. And this would be how it would be normally. We also had to remove a lot of the teeth in the entire region of the upper and the lower jaw as you can see. All the way to the midline involving the teeth, alveolus and also part of the upper jaw. Okay, I'm going to show you how he looks right now. You can show closer. So, you see how it is now. And, uh, closer. Yeah, so you can see the flap that's attached from the lower jaw and also to the upper jaw and all along posteriorly. Oh, oh. oh yeah, sorry, sorry, till there. And there's also a lot of hair growing here now. So this is because this part, this entire part of the tissue was actually from the chest. So that's what you can see now. So you see, this is the area we took the flap from. So you see this side, a lot of muscle. We took that pectoralis major muscle with a flap that's called PMMC, pectoralis major myocutaneous flap. This flap was harvested from here. It was tunneled taken from over the clavicle. That's why you can see this clavicle is still a little bit thicker than this one. Taken from under the neck. You can see an incision here. See, this is a scar with which we had opened up and removed the full lesion. And then this was used to cover the defect. So all of that is nicely healed now. So this patient is unable to open his mouth. He's just come to me now, referred by another doctor. This has happened to him for a few weeks. Why are you going to get a white dog? I don't know. 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 Okay, he has also some infection there. The teeth are in bad shape. We took a cone beam CT scan and you can see that there's missing mandible there. So the teeth are like literally floating. Yeah, why are you doing it? So we're going to start a surgery for resection and reconstruction. This has come, at, come out as moderately differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. We're going to do a resection, neck dissection and a reconstruction, mostly for a pec major. Yeah. So this, this part of the mandible, this much is missing. It's been eroded by the tumor. So we've taken the scans already and found out the extent. We've also got nodes in the neck to the level four. So we're gonna be removing that as well. And then we're gonna use the um, pectoralis major, myocutaneous flap 
and also required some implants to uh, reconstruct the mandible. Nala why Tarangal? His mouth opening is restricted. Uh, however, it's not involved totally in the tumor trigon. And we're going to get that clearance as well. These are the scone beam CT scans of this patient who had this large malignant lesion. You can see the one here. This is a pre op. So you can see the lesion that's extending this way. And you can see it going all the way up to the coronoid. And this is the post op where we resected all of that. And we've used Petronas major myocytinous flap, a large one to. Uh, reconstruct the defect is doing very well as you can see from our from this earlier video this is to show that we had to do an aggressive resection he's in his mid 70s so we didn't consider the other alternative of doing a free flap because this would give him a good cure and much improved quality of life and a disease free state so this is the cone beam CT scan of the same patient. You can see that the entire mandible is missing on this side, the left side. Also we did a partial maxillectomy and that's visible by the fact that, you see there? So it's just having a rim of bone there till the buttress and there's no maxilla after that. So all of that we've resected it out and we use the same flap to reconstruct this entire defect. I want to also show you on an OPG maybe, you can see on the panorama, that's how the panorama looks. So you see that. We're also going to show you on the axial view. You can appreciate the amount of maxilla that's been resected. And you can see now there is no mandible on the other side. So there's been a hemi-mandibulectomy plus maxillary resection.